Hi, I'm Dean from the Mongoose Enablement team at Infor. Mongoose 903 is chock full of upgrades to make the development process easier and more versatile. Perhaps the most powerful of these upgrades are the new user components, which allow you to fully integrate any JavaScript-based component into the Mongoose toolbar. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a simple tags user component. To do this, we're going to use the UI tag it library, the source code to which is readily available thanks to GitHub user Alex Elke. A link to the code is in the description below, along with all other materials that you'll need for this tutorial. First things first, let's import all the files that we're going to need. Please download and extract the zipped folder found in the description of this video. Once you've done that, head over to System, Edit, Web User Control Assets. From here, select Import, click Source Folder, and then select the folder that you've extracted all those files to. Click OK. The target path field denotes where our files will be located in the Web User Control Assets screen. For now, let's just make a new folder. Call it something appropriate, like Tag Box. Click Add Files, select everything in there, and hit OK. Hit OK again, and you should be able to see our new folder with all the appropriate files in it. Let's save our progress so far by clicking OK and unloading the metadata cache with Control U. Mongoose will prompt us that we have unsaved changes, so let's click yes and confirm that we've saved them. Now that that's done, we can actually start making the component. So go back to Edit, Web User Control Assets, navigate to the folder that we made, make sure it's highlighted, and click New. Don't worry, we're not going to have you code the HTML from scratch. Let's first rename our component to something like tag box. And under here where it says content type, select from the drop down menu, application user component. There, now doesn't that look better? Our user component will need a name. Unsurprisingly, we'll call it tag box. For source, select the file tagbox.js. This is one of the files I had you import earlier. Right now, it doesn't have very much meaningful data in it, but don't worry, we'll edit it together to make it do what we want. Check Show in Toolbox, select any image that you've imported into Mongoose, and create an appropriate label. Click OK, OK again, and clear the metadata cache with Control U, and now we should be able to see our component in the Mongoose toolbar. There it is. Now we can select our component and drag it anywhere in the Mongoose form, just like we would any other component. If we were to open up our form on the web, we wouldn't see anything just yet, because none of the files that our component should be reading from have actually been attached to the component yet. To fix this, let's go back into Mongoose, go back to System, Edit, Web User Control Assets, and go back into our component. Notice anything different? Now that we've actually saved the user component, we can find the list of all other files in the Web User Control Assets screen that we can import from. So let's find our files that we've already imported and attach them to our component. Once we've attached the JavaScript, jQuery, and CSS libraries that we need, we can get to work on modifying this source file to actually give the component functionality. Open up the file in any text editor, and you'll notice that prior to the prototype, there are two blocks of code that we've written out. We've included these because they're going to be in pretty much any component you write, relatively unchanged. However, there are a few things to note. In the first block of code, the name property must exactly match the name that we've given the component in the Web User Control Assets screen here. Additionally, the name of the object that we return here is the same as the name of the object that we initialize here and prototype here. Wait a minute, what's this? SohoUtil.GenerateID is not a method that's found in any of the files we've imported thus far. Looks like we missed one. No problem. Let's head back to the Web User Control Assets screen and fix it. Find the file called SohoUtil.JS and import it. Notice that SohoUtil.js was moved to the bottom of the requires field. This is no good. In the requires field, order matters, and these files that we've included beforehand are going to read from SohoUtil.js. So let's click that and move it up to the top so that we don't have any inheritance issues. Click OK, OK again, unload the metadata cache with Control U, 
And now we can finally start editing the prototype and give this component some functionality. All user components require some HTML to get them to actually show up on the screen. For the tags component, the HTML is very simple. It's just an input box. Okay, so let's write the function. Get HTML. Make sure the H is capitalized. Again, it's a function. And inside, we're going to declare a variable called HTML and assign it to a string, which is an input tag with ID equal to some placeholder value. We'll just call that zero. And then we're going to replace that placeholder value with the ID generated by SohoUtil.GenerateID. To do this, it's just dot replace the placeholder value, this dot ID. Then just return the variable HTML. All right, let's save what we have so far and see what we've accomplished. Let's copy all of our code, go into Mongoose, go back to system, edit, web user control assets, edit that JavaScript file, select all and just paste what we have. Now, if you prefer to do your editing here rather than in a separate text editor, that's perfectly fine. Let's click OK, OK again, and clear the metadata cache with Control U. Now, if we open up our form on the web client, we'll see an input box. Beautiful, exactly what we coded. All that's left to turn this plain old input box into that beautiful tag box I showed you earlier is just to initialize the UI tag it library in our JavaScript file. So let's head back over to that file and put on the finishing touches. This portion of the code will go in the onFormReady function, which is called as soon as the form finishes loading. We're going to need to define a jQuery object that we can attach the UI tag it library to. Doing this is very similar to defining the HTML variable that we did up here in the getHTML function. We create a variable, let's call it tag, and we set it equal to a string beginning with the pound sign and ending with another placeholder value, which we'll replace with the object's ID. Now let's actually make that jQuery object with the dollar sign and initialize the tag it library. Let's copy this code into Mongoose and see what we've got. Remember to unload the metadata cache every time you edit the web user control assets. Let's return to the web client, sign out, sign back in, and open up our form. Let's test it to confirm that it worked. Beautiful. In part two of the tutorial, We'll go over how to bind your components to properties so that you can use them to store and modify data. Thank you very much for watching. Happy mongoosing!